I think it is one of the greatest privileges for an IDD president to be able to bestow the IDD's presidential award to anyone of his or her choice. Uh, usually, in, as in past traditions, the award has been awarded with the utmost of secrecy. And again, as we're, we're breaking uh, past traditions, uh, this year we've, we've decided that um, it wasn't to be held as a secret. And um, so um, I like to, uh, you know, as most people know that it's, uh, I've chosen as, as my, um, pre this year's presidential award, my, my uh, Diverse Talks podcast co-host, Lisa Boyd. So first of all, how did I come to choose Lisa as my co-host? Well, the story goes that I was the, at the time, I was the newly appointed VP of Media and Content, which was a position at the time. So to get to know everybody that was on the committee, I asked everyone to join, that was on the committee at the time, to join in a conference call. It so happens that Lisa was the only one who actually showed up for the call. So we had a discussion between the two of us and uh, what we wanted to do going forward. I, share, I shared with her that I was an avid uh, podcast listener and that I think that we should create a podcast for the IEDD. She loved the, IED, uh, she loved the idea and for now the rest is history. She, I guess she was in the right place at the right time or maybe the wrong place at the right time depending on how she wants to look at it. So, um, however, beyond just the support that she's, that she's given for the podcast, I like to say that Lisa is an excellent director of media, chairperson for the media committee, and that she's very, extremely thorough, very reliable, and really a true professional. So, the plaque that she received, that she'll be receiving, reads, the International Association of Die Cutting and Die Making proudly recognizes emerging leader Lisa Boyd for her exceptional service to the association, its members, and our industry. Lisa's contributions towards creating a communication strategy for using social media and other platforms have increased engagement and brought added value to IADD members. Her meticulous and reliable support as chair of the media committee and frequent co-host of Diverse Thoughts podcast episodes underscores her dedication to enriching the entire industry. So, it is my honor to present to this year's IADD Presidential Award, Lisa Boyd. Thank you, Gino. There you go. Look at that. We passed it right. Congratulations. Through. Congratulations, Lisa. We passed it right through the internet. There you go. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, th thank you so much. Thank you for your, your very kind words. Um, I have enjoyed working with you and all the members of the media committee, as well as all the members of the IEDD. Um, it's hard to think of it as work because I do enjoy it so much. And I'm really honored to be this year's recipient of the Presidential Award and I'm grateful for your acknowledgement of my participation and my contribution. So thank you again. Like so many of you here today, um, I've spent my entire uh, career in this industry. Um, it's what I know, it's what I love. Um, and be, doing this doesn't even feel like work some days. <laughs> um, years ago, I began in the trade finishing industry where I learned, first learned about die cutting and converting. From there, I moved into the die manufacturing and, uh, side of the business. And today I get to work on the material supply side of the industry. And I can tell you that every single year, has been a rich experience where I've literally learned something new every day and I continue to and that's what keeps it fresh and, and truly interesting. Many years ago I had a mentor who once told me that success is rarely an individual activity and is almost always a team effort and I 
was mindful of that as I was thinking about a few things that I wanted to say today because I couldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for all the, uh, the managers, coworkers, colleagues, and friends that I've connected with throughout our industry who have helped me over the years and really helped me get to where I am today. Um, and so I thank all of them as well. And in the same spirit of working together, that's why I got involved in the IADD in the first place. Um, I saw a, a, um, a fabulous organization that was really doing terrific work. And I thought it would be great to be a part of it and mm. to give back to an industry that had been good, so good to me over the years. And what I love about it today is I get to work with energetic, creative people. The media team has just some really um, dynamic members, um, very passionate about what we do and very committed to it. Our goal to educate, inform, and connect members is literally what we do in our, whether it's in our meetings, whether it's our podcasts, so whether it's the, uh, the, uh, uh, content that is uh, posted on our, the, the different platforms. And again, as Gino said earlier, a few years ago, Gino had this really, it was a genius of an idea uh, to produce po podcasts. And I was really fortunate to be the only person on the call. So he and I had this long 45 minute or so conversation about his vision. And then within six months, we were off and running. Um, and the great thing about this is we have such a diverse uh, a group of members from across all the continents um, doing such fabulous work. And the podcast is a way to get to talk to the owners and business leaders and people who are committed to our industry and really learn about their stories. And we have some of the best stories when we talk to people and they tell us about their success stories, their challenges, and all the different uh, components that go into being the business leaders they are. So it's absolutely fabulous. And if you haven't listened to them, please do. I'd also just like to take a moment and give a special thanks to Cindy and Jenny and Leanne, because you guys are amazing. Um, your support, your help, your guidance, it's impossible to measure, I, but it's there. And I always know that when I'm looking for direction, one of you is always there to help. So thank you very much for that. One last comment I'd like to make, which is about our industry. And, uh, you know, we've been through a lot this year. I think we can all agree on that. And it's the significant role that we have, we play in our local um, areas, in our states, countrywide, and of course, the global economy. A lot has been said this year about essential businesses. You know, we hear that word, essential, is, is uh, every single day. And yet, I think we can say without question that our industry is a critical link in the supply chain. And it has been a challenging year. And yet, at the same time, it's an amazing the way our industry and the job that we've done. So, you know, I say bravo to everyone here and to our industry because they really stepped up. Um, we are an engine of industry and you know, we help keep the grocery store shelves filled with our, our contribution to the supply chain. And it's just that little bit of normal that we haven't seen a whole lot of this year. Um, and then, so in closing, just thank you again, Gino. This is very special. Um, it's been great seeing everybody here today. And I so look forward to 2021 when we get to do this again hopefully in person. So thank you. Lisa, that was excellent. I, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. That was, that was uh, great. And, uh, and for Lisa, I, wanna, I just want to say a, a thank you as well to uh, her employer, Wagner Dye Supply, who, uh, support her, uh, who support her in supporting us and the IEDD as well. So thank you to them very much.